So we said that increases in fetal heart rate, right, um, above 160 were called uh, fetal tachycardia, right? So I'll just abbreviate that here. But what if you have an increase in the baseline that, and I didn't draw any variability here, let's just draw some variability. So I, what if you have an increase in the baseline that doesn't quite reach 160, but it's still an increase. You know, that seems important to notice. So these are called accelerations, and accelerations by definition um, are 15 beats wide. I'm sorry, that's 15 seconds long by 15 beats high. Okay, so accelerations 15 by 15. And you'll see in the notes that I define accelerations a little bit differently depending on the age, the gestational age. This 15 by 15 is for a baby that's greater than or equal to 32 weeks. Okay, If um, the baby is less than that age, then we're looking at 10 by 10 qualifies as an acceleration. Right? Accelerations are always coupled with fetal movements. Okay, always coupled with, with fetal movements. A couple other definitions. Um, actually, before we do any more definitions, so we said they're always coupled, coupled with fetal movements. And we can say that their presence is reassuring. And their absence is concerning. Okay. So the presence of um, accelerations is reassuring. Their absence is concerning and should point us towards hypoxia. Remember that. Again, always hypoxia. That should be your first thought, really, when there's any abnormality in a fetal heart tracing. And probably your second thought should be, what have I done? Are there drugs involved in this equation that could be causing these things? Um, so that is accelerations. We'll go to one more definition in terms of accelerations and that is a prolonged acceleration. And prolonged accelerations last more than two minutes and they last less than ten minutes. Right? Um, if they're more if they're more than ten minutes then we just call that an increase in the baseline, right? But prolonged accelerations are more than two minutes and less than 10 minutes. So that should cover us pretty well on accelerations. The important thing to remember, you're almost always gonna be reading these tracings um, in a patient after 32 weeks. So the important thing to remember is that 15 by 15. If you can remember that, you can almost always get uh, accelerations. So let's move on to decelerations in the next series.